Are you thinking about making the move to Smith Lake? Well, today we're gonna to talk about all the pros and some cons that come along with Smith Lake Living. Hi, I'm Lacey Kilpatrick, your local Smith Lake realtor and resident expert. Now, I was fortunate enough to grow up on this lake and my family is still here enjoying it today. But with any good thing usually comes a few challenges as well. Am I right? So if you're thinking about making the move to Smith Lake, you really need to weigh out all of the pros and the cons. One of the main benefits that comes along with living on Smith Lake is the easy access to the lake. When you have waterfront property, that just makes enjoying the lake so much easier. There's no hassle with packing up everything for the day, loading it in the boat, driving to the boat launch, and launching your boat, packing up the kids. No, no, no. You just grab your sunglasses, grab some sunscreen, your towel, drop your boat lift in the water, and enjoy the boat and the lake for the day. When the lake is in your backyard, it is so much easier just to enjoy afternoons and weekends taking a cruise with the family or enjoying your favorite water sports. Everyone's lives are just so busy and hectic that having your own dock and waterfront just makes enjoying the lake so much easier. This brings me to my second pro to living on the lake and that's enjoying the lake year round. We enjoy the lake more because we have more access to it. It's not uncommon for us to enjoy a weekday afternoon on the lake for a cool dip after a hot Alabama day, or just to take a cruise on the boat to go get dinner at a local waterfront restaurant. In fact, if you talk to many locals, they'll tell you that you will rarely catch them on the weekends on the lake traffic. They would much rather enjoy the lake through the week when it's calm and peaceful. We also enjoy the lake throughout the fall seasons and again in early spring. It's really just so nice to throw on a sweatshirt and get cozy and enjoy the changing seasons. Chances are without the easy access, you're just not likely to enjoy the lake during the colder months. It's just a lot of work, but being on the lake in the off season has its own set of benefits. It's incredibly peaceful and serene and the landscape and foliage are just beautiful. Another great benefit of living on Smith Lake is the people. The community of people that live on this lake is truly fantastic. I've met so many wonderful people throughout my career in real estate that I'm still in touch with today. We will stop by each other's docks and they truly just really become friends of mine. And this lake just definitely has a way of bringing people together. Living on the lake, you get a chance to meet people from all over. Your neighbor may or may not be a full-time resident and you'll meet people that share the same slew as you and everyone is usually just very friendly and willing to help out throughout the year. This is especially nice if you are planning to enjoy your lake home as a second home. This community is great about helping others. Making friends in your neighborhood or area will help in times when we experience like a lot of rain or we have a drought and your dog may need some attention. Calling on a neighbor or a local friend can be a really good help. We also have some really great companies that you can contact that will help manage your property during the off season. They'll help take care of your dock and your lawn and you know, just general maintenance that your home may need while you're away. There's also some really great Facebook groups for Smith Lake residents like the Smith Lake Community page and the Smith Lake Alabama page. You can pop into these groups for recommendations on a handyman or a contractor and just general advice on managing your dock and living on the lake. It's just such a great community to be a part of and if you even want to get more involved, you can join groups like the Smith Lake Environmental Preservation Committee. They're a nonprofit organization with the goal of preserving and enhancing the water quality of Smith Lake. Okay, let's face it, there are some cons that come with living on the lake. And as promised, I'll share those with you. The first is the water level fluctuation. Smith Lake is governed by Alabama Power Company. It is a man-made lake and has an in-use dam. Now, because of the dam, water is constantly being let out to the Black Warrior River, which does mean that our water levels fluctuate. 
Our lake elevation level is 510 feet above sea level, and this is water we refer to as our full pool level, or some will call it summer pool. And typically around the end of July, that level starts slowly decreasing over the span of a few months to the 496, which is our winter pool level. But when you live here year round, you can experience drought or flooding, which are both equally inconvenient. And this just means that you have to be mindful of your dock all year. Because our water levels fluctuate, all our docks are floating, which means that you will have to maintain them and chase the water. As water levels rise, you will need to bring in your dock and tighten up your cables. And as the water levels decrease, you will again need to loosen the cables and allow your dock some slack to move around the water. Cables that are too slack or too tight will cause damage to the dock. Cables and winches, and that can ultimately lead to your entire dock are breaking loose and floating down the lake. Now, while this task isn't all too daunting, it can be a little inconvenient especially if your lake home is a second home. This can be a costly mistake if you're not familiar with the changing water levels. And again, it's a very good reason to make friends with your neighbors. Another con to living on the lake year round is seasonal boat traffic. When you get used to enjoying the lake in the downtime or off season and weekday afternoons, it's easy to become annoyed with all the lake traffic that the weekend brings. While the traffic is great for our community, the influx of boat traffic can be a little chaotic, especially on holiday weekends. Our lake has grown tremendously in the last several years, and you can really tell it when you get out on the lake during the summer. You see way more boats than we used to when I was a kid, and the water is so choppy. The weight that some of these boats put out is just downright jarring on the boat sometimes. So on most weekends, you will find locals chilling on their docks and avoiding all the traffic. They'll enjoy it throughout the week and during the off season. Another con to consider is the location. Our lake covers three counties, Coleman, Walker, and Winston County. So depending on where you're traveling from, if your home is a vacation home or if you will be commuting for work through the week, location can be a little tricky. Our lake is pretty rural, which makes for killer scenery, but less than ideal convenience. Most areas of our lake are going to be at least a 30 minute drive to a grocery store. And I'm not talking about like Publix or Walmart. It's typically going to be a mom and pop locally owned grocery store. Now, if you're lucky, you will have a Dollar General close by where you can grab most necessities needed. So just depending on the use of your home, whether you're renting here, retiring here, buying a vacation home, or planning to live here full time and commute to work, you need to consider the rural location and choose what is best suited for you and your family's needs. This also brings me to my next con, which is compromise. There is no such thing as the perfect lake home. Most often there is going to be some sort of compromise, whether that is location, view, or walk to the water, be prepared to get in somewhere. If you find a home with a killer view, and we have plenty of those, most often you're going to have a generous amount of steps to the water. If you find a gentle lot with a smooth walk to the water, you're probably going to be in a small slough or a cove. If you want deep year-round water, you may be on a large body of water that catches a lot of boat traffic and you'll deal with a good amount of wake from the boats. If you don't want to deal with that wake, you need to look for a home in a nice slough or a channel that isn't too busy. Now, don't let this worry you. You just really need to keep in mind during your home search, what is most important to you. If waking up every morning to a gorgeous view is what you want most, that is definitely achievable. You're just probably going to have to climb a few stairs to get to the water. Also, working with a local realtor who knows the lake can be a huge help here. Agents that know the lay of the lake will be able to quickly identify homes and areas that will work best for you according to your home goals, whether that be location, deep water, no stairs, or a great view. Are you ready to make the move to Smith Lake? As you can tell, there are so many benefits, but you can also see that there is a downside to living on the lake too. But heck, I mean, that's with any community, right? There's always going to be pros and cons. 
If I can help you find your perfect lake home or vacation home here on Smith Lake, give me a call. In the meantime, watch this next video to learn more about our Great Lake.